Mr. Tarrou, we're going to talk for a minute about the change of base or changing the base of logarithms. This formula, log base b of m equals log base b of a of m divided by log base a of b. So we have a logarithm originally in, in uh, base b form, and now it's in log base a form. Uh, for most of us with uh, normal calculators, that normal base that we want is either natural log, log base e, or log base 10, the common log. So <clears throat> why do we need this? Um, I contend you don't even have to memorize this, in my opinion, uh, once you learn how to solve equations with the variable and the exponent. But it is a standard formula, and it's, all, it's in all the uh, pre-calc and trig books and so on. So let's take a look at a question like this. Log base, uh, let's say, 4 of the cube root of 4. Well, you don't need to change a base formula for this, even though it is a base that's, other, you know, that's not a common base. It's not uh, base 10 or base e. It's base 4. But this one you can work out you know, without the use of a calculator, like my students are going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> OK, well, what is this equal? Let's say I don't know. Well, actually, let's not do that. Let's take this expression and write it without the rational or the radical equation, which is uh, the radical, uh, the radical, the third root, and write it as log base 4 of 4 to the 1 third. Now, in my inter introduction to uh, logarithms, I talked about how when you log with a, with a base and you're logging a, a number with the same base, that those will cancel out. So uh, this will cancel out to be 1 third. Uh, because the base of the log and the base of what you're logging is the same. If you did not watch that video, though, uh, and you don't know what this is equal to, then you can write this expression. Actually, now I've made it into an equation. I've included the fact that I don't know what it equals. Well, I can go from this log form, which I've sort of scribbled over now, but I'm going to take this and put it in exponential form, and that's base. <clears throat> what you get out of a logarithm is an exponent. And then what are you logging? This is the base exponent and answer. Well, that's 4 to the 1 third. And when you have an equation that has the same base on both sides, that's going to force the exponents to have to be the same. And there's the same 1 third that I got from showing you this uh, cancellation up here to begin with. When you log something and the base of the log is the same as the base of what you're logging, they cancel out. And this did not need a calculator. How about something like, uh, this is a question like, uh, similar to what my question uh, my students had with today, which was, let's say, log base 10 of, hmm, trying to make this up on the fly here. <clears throat> let's say log base 1,000 of 0.1. Well, what does that equal? We don't know. Now, this could easily be done with a calculator and the change of base formula, which I am going to get to here, but I want to show you that some of these can be done by hand. Uh, I don't know what this equals, so I'm going to put it into exponential form. 1,000x equals 0.1. If I can get both sides of this equation to have the same base, then I can solve for x, which is in the exponent. So let's see. 0.1 is 1 tenth, right? So 1,000x equals 1 tenth. Well, this is not a fraction, and over here I have something that looks like a fraction, so I'm going to bring the 10 up out of the denominator by making the exponent negative. And so that's going to be 10 to the negative 1, and now over here again we have 1,000x. I'm just trying to show every single step. Now on the right I have a base of 10, and on the left I have a base of 10. Well, can I make a base of 10? Is there a power of 10 in 1,000 so I can get both sides to have the same base and solve for x? And yes, this is 10 to the third power. Now we have power to power, which means we have 10 to the 3x equals 10 to the negative 1. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to raise this example here. Now that I have a like base on both sides of this equation, I can solve for x. And we get 3x equals negative 1. 
and x therefore equals negative one-third, and now we're done. So I was able to solve this without actually requiring the change of base formula, or solving, uh, yeah, without doing that. Okay. What if you have a question, though, that you can't get the same base on both sides? That's really where this comes into play. So let's erase this and show you the difference. We're going to work out log, actually, and I'm, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I'm going to just show you how to get it set up so you can put it in your calculator. Uh, log base 2 of 9. Okay, now this one we are not going to be able to get set up. If you try to write it in exponential form, where it's 2 to the x equals 9, there's no powers of 2 in 9. Like if it were 8, it would be x equals 3. But 2, no power of 2 is going to evenly go into 9, or become 9. So what are you supposed to do with this? Well, the change of base formula simply says that if you're logging something, you can go, well, I don't know how to do log base 2, or my calculator doesn't do log base 2. So I can write log of 9 divided by log of 2. And if you type this in your calculator properly, you have the answer. Or you can use natural log. Uh, this is log base A. They don't set the base that you have to use on the new, uh, the new base that you're going to set up. So you could use natural log of 9 divided by natural log of 2. Uh, where this is B and this is M, and now this is log base E on the top and bottom. I've changed from base 2 to base E or base 10, and both of these can be put into all calculators. If your calculator is easier to get the LN button, just do natural log. Well, if you haven't studied how to solve equations with uh, exponents or variables in the exponent yet, this is sort of just like, I'm only doing this the very, uh, because the equation says so. I want to actually show you how this comes about. And we're going to do that by going into that exponential form that I just had up here and kind of give you a preview of how to solve equations with the variable and the exponent. So what's this equal? I don't know. Supposedly. So we're going to go from log form to exponential form. 2 to the x equals 9. But Mr. True, you just had that there a second ago, and you told me we couldn't do it. Well, no. The main purpose or use of logarithms in this level of mathematics is to solve equations where the variable is in the exponent. So if you're doing compound interest, it's very easy uh, to where you're, if you're looking for the amount of time period, like how long will it take for an investment to double, that variable is then going to be up in the exponent. And you have to have some way of getting that variable out of the exponent so you can solve for it. You can't solve for a variable unless it's in the main line of the equation. You can't solve for it when it's in the denominator, and you can't solve for it when it's in an exponent. So we're going to apply the log function to both sides of this equation and use natural log or regular log, whatever you feel like. I'm going to write log, the common log, log base 10 of 2 to the x equals the log of 9. Now, does that look funny? It shouldn't because you've added 2 to both sides, you've divided both sides by 5 when you solve equations, you've square rooted both sides like x squared equals 16. You apply the square root symbol to both sides. That's a math function. Well, so is log. So I'm just doing something balanced on, you know, one on each side. I'm doing the log function on each side of this equation. Well, the power property of logarithms allows me to take this x and move it down out front. And now we have x times the log of 2 equals log of 9. And how do you think we're going to solve this for x? We're going to undo that multiplication. And you're going to see an expression or an equation with a part of it that looks just like uh, what we had when I just directly applied the change of base formula and you know, just said do it because it says so. So we're going to divide both sides by the log of 2. And x is equal to log base 10 of 9, or you could have used natural log, divided by log base uh, 10, or just net common log, of 2. <clears throat> and as long as you type this in the calculator correctly, you'll have your final answer. That's it. I'm Mr. True. I'm out. Thank you for watching very, very much. Bang!